on a dark sea lit by moonlight, an enemy fleet closes in until the water itself ignites. Flames crawl across the waves, clinging to wood, to sails, to skin. Panic erupts, oars snap. Men leap overboard, only to discover the fire follows them. This is Greek fire, the weapon that turned the ocean into a battlefield of terror and then vanished into history without leaving its recipe behind. The year is the 700s. Constantinople stands besieged, the heart of the Byzantine Empire under constant threat. Outnumbered and surrounded, its defenders unveil a secret so devastating it feels almost supernatural. From bronze siphons mounted on ships, a roaring liquid flame blasts forward. It burns on water, it resists rain, it refuses to die. Enemies call it li liquid lightning. Allies guard it with their lives. But here's the mystery. No one outside the Empire ever learns exactly what it was. For centuries, Greek fire reshaped naval warfare. It saved cities, shattered invasions, and built legends. And yet the formula, arguably the most powerful weapon of its age, slipped through time's fingers. No surviving manual, no verified ingredient list, only fragments, rumours and fear. Historians argue fiercely over what made it burn. Was it crude oil skimmed from the Black Sea? Sulphur and pine resin whipped into a sticky inferno? Quicklime that ignited on contact with water? Each theory fits part of the puzzle and fails another. Some mixtures burn but not on water. Others float but don't cling. None fully recreate the horror described by eyewitnesses. That's where the debate deepens. Because Greek fire wasn't just a substance, it was a system. The pressure pumps, the sealed containers, the trained crews sworn to secrecy. The Empire treated the weapon like a living secret, passed down within families protected by law and erased when no longer safe to share. When Constantinople finally fell centuries later, the knowledge fell with it. Modern scientists have tried to resurrect the flame in labs and documentaries, but every attempt feels like an echo, not the original roar. Maybe the true formula depended on materials no longer available. Maybe it required techniques lost to time, or maybe, most unsettling of all, it was never written down at all. Greek fire reminds us that history isn't just what survives, it's also what disappears, intentionally, carefully, forever. In an age obsessed with saving every file and backing up every thought, the most powerful weapon of the medieval world proves that some knowledge can still burn brightly and then vanish without a trace. If this mystery sparked your curiosity, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and leave a comment with your own theory about Greek fire.